teams will come out in some kind of cover two package. Don't let Wilson go deep. Don't let Sykes get five straight first downs. Uh, they'll probably zone you guys to death, and you gotta just be patient. Um, I'm not really worried about zone. I, I feel like we can get past zone easy. We can break zone coverage. So. But it takes more patience, right? Uh, not exactly. I feel like whatever they come out with, I, we have a plan for it all. Okay. So. So um, if they have two slow guys on your side, even if they're expecting deep, you can still beat it if they, if they sit on you too much. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, the ball's coming out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel like not just me, but Matt too. I mean, it's. Most explosive offense in the state will be St. Louis or Campbell. I saw Campbell the other night. I mean, I'm everybody a, knows who they have back. Yeah, I'm not trying to hate on them, but I feel like we're the best. But they, they have a good team, too. I know a lot of their players, and, yeah. you know, I hope the best for them. But It's a friendly rivalry. Yeah. yeah. Until you guys play them, then it's all about, yeah. I hate you. Yeah, I hate <laughs> yeah. you, too. See you after the game. All right. Um, they have a young quarterback who's really starting to find his, his yeah. stride. Yeah. You guys have a veteran quarterback. I think that's the big edge right there. Um, most underrated receiver, like the new guys getting a lot more playing time, or guys who are returnees getting more playing so, time. If the most underrated is Kuali Nishigaya. I mean, but besides Kuali, uh, who's a sleeper? Who might oh, yeah. kind of I, start pitching me? He, he, was, uh, he was getting some playing time last year, but then he uh, got injured. So I feel like, you know, I'm hoping he's having a good season. He's still figuring things out, but, you know, he's one of those guys. So I saw him play summer ball in Hilo. And I didn't know who he was, uh, but I, I do know his dad, yeah. basketball coach. And Isaac looks smooth out there in the basketball. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. deceptively explosive. Um, so I, I, he told me he played football. I'm like, what? So he's yeah. a slot, and he's yeah. kind of thick. Yeah, he gets away. He's been me, me and him have been lifting a lot. So I mean, he's a thick, strong guy yeah. with with good footwork. Yeah. I'm like. He might benefit from you guys, yeah. right? He might be, oh, they don't know him right now, and he'll get eight or nine catches. Yeah. I, th I I feel like him and Kuali will have a couple offers after this season. Yeah, and nobody cares about stats, but, I mean, we look at it for, as fans. Like, oh, Roman only had three catches, but then they were double teaming him all game, yeah. right? So you open up for everybody else. Similar to what the Campbell receivers go through and other receivers, same thing. Well, any shout-outs? Um, Shout-out David Kamalani. He trains me. He's from Maui. David know. Kamalani sounds familiar. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where you're going from, but you know, he kind of does a lot. He's uh, sponsored by Nike. He trains a lot of people. So your, your 40 time at the, at the Nike opening and all this stuff, I mean, were you surprised or is it something you specifically work on or it's just, it's just natural? Um, it's something I work very hard on. I'm not really surprised, I mean, I'm surprised that I didn't run a better time, you know. Oh. There's a carryover from track season, too. You guys were great on the track. Yeah, so. yeah. So 4-3, I don't know what the number was. Was it 4-3 flat, 4-3 plus? It's a 4-3, I don't know. And you think it could have been better? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you're a football player, right? You're not, like, honing your 40 yeah. time. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, it's a good time. I don't, I don't really care that much. But that, that's kind of what got you on the map. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks,